audience with Sylvie Q Earthquake. So everybody has their one family member or friend in some cases. You go over their house because special occasions, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Memorial Day, 4th of July. I think I named them in order. This special 4th of July. I was probably in sixth grade, my auntie's house. When I go over there, see, here's the thing. We usually get there around nine o'clock and we leave at like one or two in the morning. But all they do is just, you know, talk, talk, talk. And then after around the 12 o'clock hour or 11 o'clock hour, I just want to leave, go back to my home. And then I go home, I already, I already set out on a mission. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna say hi, I'm gonna eat the food, I'm gonna listen to music, and then leave. Now the leaving part is the hard part. Getting there is the easy part. It's mostly for a party environment. It was soca. It's the difference between reggae and soca. Which is to say soca is a lot more uppity uppity. Reggae, I understand what they're saying. It's broken English. other hand, no offense, they, they talk too fast for me to comprehend. So I'm there eating food, you know, we're talking, and then all of a sudden, we get low on juice and soda. So then I'm wondering, what else can I drink? And then I go reach in the cooler, and I pull out this beer looking bottle. It's called a Shandy. Now, I never heard of it before, but it's a Caribbean drink. And I look at it, and it looks like soda. So I'm like, uh, what's the worst that could happen? So then I showed it to my mom, and then she was like, oh yeah, yeah, this is Shandy, um, you can have some. So then I'm reading the bottle, and the bottle says 5% alcohol. So I'm like, uh, never had alcohol before. It's my first time. First ever time having alcohol. So then I'm, si I'm sipping it. It was a little tart, bitter. It wasn't sweet like soda, but it still had that bubbly feeling. I think it was cherry flavor or something like that. And I'm drinking it, and then I'm like, man, this is pretty good. By the time when my brother found out what I was doing, I probably had about four or five Sandys. Cherry flavor, I didn't really like the, the ginger ginger flavor, and they didn't have lime. So I'm out on the front porch, booming noise and stuff, so seeing different colors. And then all of a sudden, while I'm about to have my fifth shandy in a row, I was feeling fine by the way. My brother just snatches the shandy right, right, right from me. So then when that happens, I'm like, what, what is God doing? And then he's like, yo, what is this? I said, it's a shandy. You're not supposed to be drinking this. I'm like, why? Cause it says 5% alcohol. I'm like, whatever, that's fine. I okayed it with my mom. Oh, my bad, our mom. And then he was like, listen, nah, you ain't having the rest. So he just kept on holding it away from me. So I'm like, oh, let me just, let me just finish this. And then after that, Call it even. It's like, yo, what type of even are we talking about here? I'm trying to look out for your health. I'm like, listen, I'm trying to look out for my night. So then, uh, after a while, I convinced him that he should hand it over and uh, we should forget about this whole business that just transpired. He gave it back to me eventually. And then I was like, you know what? It's gonna be the last one for the night. I might as well. I think we end up leaving probably around two o'clock. And then, yeah, that, that was basically it. That was my first story of, uh, of, uh, of, of alcohol. And um, hopefully y'all like, comment, subscribe. There are gonna be more videos out just like this. Hopefully everybody stays safe and 